This is from at the real cheetah. <laughs> Have you or Ian ever questioned why you collect? Perhaps a little burnt or frustrated. How did you get over it? Congrats on the only recent milestones. Been watching about six years. Say hey to Frank. Um, yeah, I've, I've definitely burnt out on collecting before um, a, a few times. And uh, what was the first part of that question? There was well, a... Question why you collect? Are you a little burnt out? Oh, why? Um, why? I don't know. I, I like to... To me, there's a little bit of obsessive compulsiveness to it. Um, I did therapy for like two years. That got me through a lot of my, over my obsessive compulsiveness. But there's still all led you to the infamous Caltron deal. Was no, it, was it a lot of therapy? No, um, but there was. There is still part of me that likes to have like a little collection or a little set of things, and I like to think of it as a, I don't know, like an insurance policy against boredom sometime in the future. Even though when I get bored uh, now, I can't settle on deciding on anything to do. Uh, when I've burnt out on collecting, the, the two ways I got around it, the first time was to really look at my collection and decide, holy shit, the reason I'm burnt out on it is because I have too much stuff and I don't need half of this. So um, I slashed my collection in a huge way. Um, biggest thing was getting rid of almost all of my NES stuff, and it felt great, and I didn't feel bad about buying games for the stuff that I was still interested in, like PC Engine. Um, I felt actually a lot better about that collection i was only buying what i want for the pc engine um, and when i still add a game to the pc engine collection i still feel good about it because i know i use them and i like them and i'm having fun with it and i play them um and when i started to uh realize that pc engine you know over the years uh you know especially within the past three or four uh, i started you know i started to get a little priced out of my own hobby um I still buy the PC Engine games, but that started to kind of kill off a little bit of the collecting for me. And then um, I've always loved handhelds and I've always bought Game Boy games, but that's when I really started to start searching actively for black and white Game Boy games just as a way when I'd go to conventions and such to be able to say I came back with something. Because when I'm at these conventions, I only ever really look for like PC Engine titles. And there's almost never any PC Engine titles at these conventions. Our buddy, Very rarely. Our buddy Carlson has them. Yeah, of course. And I always grab some from Carlson. But if he's not Carlson. there... Um, so... I started looking for these Game Boy games and I just started having a, a blast with it. You know, there's just so many black and white Game Boy games out there that most people never played um, that over the past five years, I've had a really good time, um, you know, taking the risk on buying some. I, I have a, I have a bunch you can borrow. Did you borrow one one time for me to play? No. You never bought that that fish fish one river fish. What, what the oh, hell? I did buy that from you. Oh, yeah. You bought it from me. Yeah, I bought that from you. Uh, Legend of the River King. Oh, I thought we should borrow that. Oh. We could do a rental system with the Game Boy games, Ian. How strange. I have a whole Tupperware of them in the other rooms, in the, in the weird front room that's filled with garbage. Um, I've never questioned why I collect. I've a question to the extent I've collected. I know why I collect. It's nostalgia, empty childhood, fill that hole in your soul. That's easy stuff that you should work out through therapy. And plus you have, I hate to say it, a lot of people get in collecting because they have too much expendable income. Yep. If you if you are struggling to eat or to uh, support a family or to have a mortgage, you you are more likely, more likely, not to spend money on bullshit. Even though we have seen personally people in the store and people in our lives and people uh, that I know someone personally that should not have been spending the amount of money they had because they didn't have that money to spend. Yep. So when you have an expendable, expendable income, especially when you're 20s, you're out of college, you have a decent paying job, like like I did, um, and you know, especially when you're you're living at home still. If you're living at home still and have a, a full time job, there's a lot of money going in your pocket at yes. that point. When you don't have a, when you don't have a lot of bills, or I think I, I had uh, I had uh, some student loans, but I didn't have any any car bills yet. I still had a crappy old uh, geo prison with BB holes in the side of it. I saw that going on, so it was really money to eat and to buy NES games. That's really where the money was going. And going to TGI Fridays and, get, and getting their, uh, their their great Mott Sticks and Oreo Madness at the time, which is why I was overweight. The flat Mott mat Sticks. Flat Mott Sticks? Yeah, that's how Fridays The, the wheel one, they, 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 put, they put them on top of the burger sometimes. I was not healthy eating out at TGI Fridays at Bennigan's. I was not. Anyway, so it was. it's always been to me. My dad loves Bennigan's. Bennigan's. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, so that's 
what I would say. I, I question to the extent, am I going overboard, buying too many things? Am I spending too much money in the grand scheme of things? Even if I can't afford it, should I be spending the money? Could I be going towards other things? Could I be going on a vacation with that money? You know, it, when you have to when you have to spend money to on top of the money for your collection, like like buying new shells and maybe buying Castle Country, it, it, then you start to question things more. Yes, and also start to question: I'm um, buying these things now for some sort of weird enjoyment. Where how am I going to enjoy it five years from now, ten years from now? That's also uh, that was that's also when I know I'm kind of getting to another breaking point where I need to stop a collection. Uh, get rid of a collection or, you know, just call it quits on something sure. or or start consuming some of those things and then passing them on is when I'm like, okay, this has gone from, this is for a rainy day or a uh, rainy week uh, to yeah. when am I going to have four rainy years? Yeah, I, I'm still looking at the day when I get a U-Haul and bring half my collection to Luna Video Games, two locations in El Cajon and in Chula Vista. Vista. So that, that will happen at some point, probably next year once I'm more settled. I'm going to say, okay, let's really pare this down. Let's get rid of half of the Genesis games, half of the N64 games, most of them because there's only 10 games you need. You know, half of the overrated Super Nintendo games. 